Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside Golf, presented by Hi-Fi House and Pioneer. I want to introduce you to a guy that, if you blinked, maybe you would have missed him from the second episode of for Inventors Only. It was a show that was on the Golf Channel. He's a local guy, Alan Martin. Alan, come on in. How are you doing today? Doing great, Ken. Thanks. Alan, we're going to give you more than 10 seconds today, I promise, okay? That's a relief. Thank what, you. you got your 10 seconds of fame. We'll give you at least five, okay? I appreciate that. Alan, Alan is an inventor. He can help you understand the game and understand your swing a little bit more. He's got a method called the thumbs down method. Before we get into what thumbs down is all about, tell me about the experience on the Four Inventors Only show. Well, I can say it was a great experience. Uh, it frankly took me by surprise because it was an inventor show and for years I thought I invented something. <laughs> and they validated that it is an invention because they, they put me into the finals. So it was a thrill being filmed, going down there, and just the whole experience. Um, you know, I was living it up. I, I enjoyed every minute of it. Are you recognized in the supermarkets now? Um, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. How could you with only 10 seconds of airtime, basically? They, they not only didn't recognize me, but they had me with a, 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 in a crazy position that nobody but myself would know even what it was. Well, we're going to recognize you. We want to recognize you today. What you have invented, it's, it's not like what the winning product was, which was a, a gadget, a gizmo that you, you put down. It's nothing you can really tangibly hold in your hand. You can't pick it off the store shelf, yet it's a method that you've invented, and you've called it the thumbs-down method. What is that? Okay. The thumbs-down method is simply a way of using a different part of my body for the golf swing and that's using my hands and actually using my thumbs as a guide and to put the club in the right hitting position okay and what I do is no I don't have a gizmo but I wrote about it I put it in a book so my book is all about ball striking and how to do the thumbs down method but you just tried it a few minutes ago yes we had you out here for a little while yes we didn't change your golf swing did not change my swing did not change my grip change nothing what you basically did was with me was get me mentally into a position where I've always known that my hands need to be at the moment of truth, which is at impact. And for some reason, I do it sometimes. Other times, I kind of leave the hands out there. My ball flight typically has been left to right. Uh, not, a, not a hard, pronounced, or real, real ugly slice, but I'm definitely losing yardage. Uh, with anywhere from my mid irons is where I have found out. So yes, I did take a couple swings. You've got me at impact now thinking and remembering. It's a, again, it's more of a mental thing than anything else that at the moment of impact and just beyond impact, that's when that thumb goes from being turned up or on the top of the grip, basically pointed down to the ground. The first thing I was trying to do is what you just said. I had a power fade that turned into an out of control slice. And after boiling everything down, it came down to the fact that I was not getting the club squared impact. So now I changed my thinking from having dead hands to having active hands. And that was kind of like the change in thinking. Now that I have active hands, I want to be able to throw those hands and make them active right on contact. And it is actually a physical thing uh -huh. because the club squares by turning, just at impact, by turning the thumb down at the golf ball you are doing what pros have taught for years called the release. But now as a physical thing, right around now, I just turn them down and everything kind of ends up in the right position. I was always kind of of the mindset and of the practice that eventually the hands will turn over on their own. That centrifugal force is going to make that happen. But again, I was not able to, maybe I'm dense, I'm thick or whatever, but I, I just, I could not do it with any kind of repeated movement that way. Perfect, because what I had to do, I again, the same exact thing, I was in the, in the mindset of I couldn't let it happen naturally, I had to make it happen, and that's what we're doing. I'm just telling you to kind of forget everything except when the club gets to this position right here, now let's make it happen. Now you have to have an idea of what, yeah. What now it's like, what do I do now? Nobody taught me what to do now. But that's not to say that you can do anything you want back here with the golf club. There are still proper positions you need to be in in the backswing at the top of your swing too. Let's face it, the golf swing still has to be fundamentally sound. However, there are people like Miller Barber, Jim Furyk, that don't have the prettiest swings, 
Yet the thing I noticed over a few years of looking at this, when you look at them in stop action, you don't know who's who at impact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the pros know how to get the club in the right hitting position at impact, no matter what their swing is. So one of my pet phrases is, a pretty swing don't mean a thing. <laughs> and if the club ain't square, the ball could go anywhere. I will and that was my that's basically my priority. I, I will tell you this much, that in the swings that I took, uh, the, the sound that I heard it was a lot crisper, the contact was a lot crisper. My misses were left, and, and, and when you started to do this, and, and if you try this uh, as well at home, you may find out that you go from a slicer to a dead yanker, which is what I was. So then you've got some alignment things you have to work on too after the fact. Adjustments. Now we're not changing your swing, we're making some adjustments. And with you, we just opened up the club face just a hair, didn't we? And from going left, they were now going higher. Higher, much higher. I'm not, and I'm not, I don't, I don't hit a high ball. Right, you do now. Yeah. Alan is not a PGA pro. He doesn't profess to be a PGA pro. He's just a, a, a mid to low handicapper who has been a do-it-yourselfer, figured this out as, on his own, wanted to share that information with you, has made the, the golf swing a lot simpler. Again, when you just think about it from in terms of from, from the hips on down to the moment of impact. Fair to say, you, you don't want to mess with what PGA pros are telling people. That's not, uh, th that's not your intent here but if you can get people at the moment of impact to just have that one little mental image like you did with me they ought to meet with a degree of success exactly right exactly right this is not anti-professional the pros are still teaching all the right things what impressed me the most is that when I show these to pros show this to pros they tell me it's fundamentally sound but all we're doing like you said we're just concentrating now on the last moment and because we live in a society where instant gratification fast food I'm just trying to find the instant fix. There you go. There but you no, go. I'm not a PGA pro, and go to your PGA pro, you know, learn the golf swing properly, but give it a thumbs down at impact. I'm going to give thumbs down a thumbs up. And if people want to get more information from you, if they'd like to find out more, uh, do you have a website? Do you have some information? Absolutely. First of all, again, what I'm offering now is a how-to guide. You can find it at www.golfinstructionmadesimple.com. It's an electronic ebook. It's a hard copy book. It's designed to bring to the golf range with you, practice the drills, and then once you have them practiced and you have it up in your head with the pictures and the images that I have, we're going to show you a little later how you can remember these while you're on the golf course and actually use this as a training aid. Alan, good stuff. Hey, thanks very much. It was a pleasure. Welcome. My pleasure, Ken. Thank much, you for having me. Much more than 10 seconds worth of air time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> See Thumbs the, up for Ken. See what the Golf Channel people missed. We'll be back with more Inside Golf. Presented by Hi-Fi House and Pioneer right after this.